Hello my friends, welcome to reddit rabbit. Before we start, catch the rabbit at the bottom right corner, smash that subscribe button and leave a comment. r slash ask reddit, what is something about yourself that sounds totally made up, but is 100% real? I was once sponsored by the Crunk Energy Drink Company for sailing. I imagine I was the only sailor on their list. I literally just emailed them saying that I sailed and asked if they wanted me to put stickers on my boat. They sent me a few cases of the drink, t-shirts, hats, the works. My car was known as the Crunk Mobile. That's badass. I took my mother for a surprise trip to NYC. She got married to my father there in 1968. The surprise was manufactured by way of telling her we were going to Australia we live in New Zealand. So a trip to Australia is not a huge deal, it's the type of thing you could do for the weekend. And therefore she packed a bag and brought her passport. We got to the airport and said surprise. We're going to New York. And she cried her eyes out with delight. When we arrived, on our first morning, I said okay, what do you want to do? She said when I was last here, in 1968, the twin towers weren't complete. So, I'd like to go to the top of them. Your wish is my command. I said and off we went to the WTC. That was the afternoon of the 10th of September, 2001. Suffice it to say, there was a particular poignancy when we looked out the window at around 8am the next morning. I was at a store when Tony Hawk was signing autographs. I was only 10 at the time and was a huge fan. One of his early video games had just come out. The store had a couple TVs on the wall and some video games to play. Being a kid I waited for one controller to open up and someone leave. A kid ended up leaving and I grabbed the controller and started playing and minding my own business. A couple minutes later the store wanted to grab photos of Tony playing his own video game. He came over and grabbed the second controller and began to play multiplayer with me. Probably played for 10 minutes. The bonus was it was also my 10th birthday. So I played Tony Hawk Pro Skater with Tony Hawk. I saw the former Prime Minister of Poland in his underwear. That's not how the rhyme goes. I see London. I see France. I see... The Prime Minister of Poland in his underpants. Once in college I applied for a job at the library help desk. I figured I would help people find books. Didn't give it much more thought than that. During the interview, I aced all of the customer service questions. Then they asked me whether I knew how to defrag a hard drive. Cue alarm bells in my head, but I kept calm outwardly and said no, but you can teach me. I worked in IT for 3 years by accident. They were too nice to fire me. I made my last boss swear on her life she wouldn't call me for tech support. They call my cell when I'm sick in bed and ask how to reinstall the printer not a dang week later. It's always the printers that get you. You can be a 55 year old CTO, but when then CEO's printer stops working, you're the one who has to open it up and pretend like anyone knows how to fix a printer. When I was a kid, I woke up to find my cat giving birth to her kittens on my pillow, one inch from my face. I took it as a compliment. It totally is. That's like the cat congressional medal of honor, right? If a cat closes its eyes around you it means it trusts you, but if it frickin births kittens inches from your face you must be like family. One of my ancestors was dumb and bought one of Napoleon's doorknobs. It turns out it's fake. Doorknobs were invented after Napoleon died. I'm intrigued by the fact that this is the story that your family decided to pass on from one generation to the next far enough to lose track of the relation and just refer to the subject as ancestor. Man I would really hate it if my great 14 grandchildren had a story like this about me. I've been stabbed 8 times. Please tell me it has nothing to do with your username. Kids am right. At once. Or on separate occasions. Try not to get stabbed on the way to the parking lot. I got hernia by sneezing too hard. I got mine trying to match my wife's pregnant belly. Pop. I feel sorry for laughing. What a way to get it. At age 50 odd and with limited to no video game experience, my mother completed Mario 64 before I did. In about half the time it finally took me to do it. Git gud, sweetie. 
Kisses forehead. My brother is 31. I'm 19. And when he was born his grandmother, we don't share the same father. Bought him an S. My mother, not knowing what to do with it, turned it on and played Super Mario Brothers. She spent 2 months every day trying to beat the game, even buying a strategy guide to go through it. She beat the game and never touched a video game again. My mum bought my brother and I as Sega. Then every night after we went to bed she would play Sonic. As a kid I thought she just loved playing games. As I got older I realized she only did it so that when we asked her for help she would be able to. A few years ago for her birthday I got her a Sega with Sonic and Sonic 2. I bought everything from the Sonic Edition Sega. Just the box, no special skins back then, and everything that came in it. I spent months getting every individual piece including the books and I had to buy nearly everything separately, because they aren't exactly producing them anymore and people didn't exactly stock up on them as collectibles back in the day. By her birthday I had it all assembled, some of it nearly in tatters due to age and wear and tear, but I did it. She loved it. And then about a month later I saw the full set in near pristine condition for sale on eBay, not her or hers, and for about a tenth of what I had paid to assembled my mom's tattered set. Still the favorite gift I've given. My great great grandfather was a Pinkerton detective, acted on vaudeville, and had five wives in two different states that knew nothing of each other. He also slightly changed his last name each time and never got caught until ancestry website happened lol. Sounds a bit like my great grandfather. He had a wife in France, and then two in the US and neighboring counties. He was caught though. My great grandmother was wife number two. She found out about wife number three and divorced him. No one knew about the first wife in France until I pulled his service records from World War I. Did he ever encounter Vandalind or Adriscal gangs? A pelican engulfed my head with its massive fricking beak when I was a small child. Pelicans are cunts. Pelicans. Having lived around pelicans, I can confirm this. Also, I'm sorry, I know that most have been traumatic, um, but I am laughing so hard right now after reading this. Because I'm imagining a pelican trying to eat a child's head. Like I am actually in tears from your comment making me laugh so hard. It was super terrifying for little me at the time, but it makes for a great story now so it's not all that bad. I bought a guitar amp from Brad Whitford, of Aerosmith, when I was 17. He and Steven Tyler served up cheeseburgers for me and my friends. The fact that they just dipped without saying anything makes this story x2 cooler for me for some reason. I had my tongue surgically enhanced for more reach and flexibility when I was 8. Interesting. I've never met anyone that has had their tongue clipped. Had mine done as a toddler and I guess they sort of overshot the mark. Because I ended up with a Gene Simmons style. Yeah mine was bad enough that I couldn't really reach the back of my upper front teeth so L's were a particular issue until I had it done. I won two TV game shows. The $10,000 Pyramid, won $10,300, in 1975. And Sale of the Century was on the show for 9 days, won $34,000 in cash and prizes, in 1985. When my mum was in grad school she took several labs where she worked with cadavers. Because my dad worked nights she often had to take me to class with her, and she'd usually just plonk me down on the table with the cadaver while she worked on it. Can I go to work with you? Over my dead body. Slams body bag onto breakfast table. Laugh track. So up. Uh, working from home today mom. Stare a small laugh track. I ran out of gas outside of La Paz Bolivia. Luckily it was downhill for about 6 kilometers into the city. I coasted the whole way on my motorbike, passed buses and drifted into a gas station. Never missed a beat. Sounds like you saved a liter of fuel to me. I once successfully ran an unfunded shelter for circa 100 homeless veterans, um, as a homeless civilian. How did this come to be if I may ask? I am one of very few people outside World War 1 to live through mustard gas. So rare the doctors, 1995 no internet, had no idea how to treat me. I've been in 3 fatal train accidents, never had a scratch, found the star of unbreakable. Have you ever met a Mr. Glass? 
I cannot see 3D effects in movies or games. I didn't know that until a friend showed me his new Nintendo 3DS and I asked him whether this thing was a scam, because it didn't look any different to me than a normal DS. We had a fight over this, because we both thought the other one was bulleting him. You're holding it wrong. How the frick do you not see this? Are you freaking kidding me right now? There's nothing 3D about this thing. 